Can we get a handshake? Sure. I got a handshake too, too. <laughs> that is the most important. <laughs> I, I agree. No, Jill. Historic moment, a historic handshake, if you please. Thank you. Pleasure. Press set. Press set. Okay, we're good whenever you are. Thank you very much. Press <coughs> uh, morning to everybody. Today we host uh, President Biden. That is so important signal for us. And all we are proud of it. Thank you very much for coming, Mr. President. That is a huge moment of supporting of the Ukraine. And uh, what can I say? I really appreciate that President Biden, American society, being from the very beginning of this tragedy, from the very beginning of this full-scale war, from the first days being together with us, first phone call of support was from White House to Ukraine. And thank you for your leadership. Thanks. 
bipartisan support thanks Congress. I think that is a historical moment for our for our country and very important. Today we'll speak detail about the situation on the battlefield. But I think almost we'll speak about people, about Ukrainians, about Americans. I think that is huge and so so difficult period for societies and what we have to do to stop the war, to have success in this war, to make Ukraine more stronger and how to win this year. You're very welcome, Mr. President. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, presumptuous me to say this, but I thought it was important that the President of the United States be here the day the attack began. Because as the President remember, I was warning the world that he was going to attack. I was certain of it. And uh, I thought it was critical that there would not be any doubt, none whatsoever, about U.S. support for Ukraine in their war against the brutal attack by Russia. And I was good to be back in Kiev. I was telling the President, one of my newer staff members on the flight from Washington into Poland uh, <coughs> asked me how many times I've been to Kiev. And I had to stop and think, it's my eighth trip. 